what's key to the future of, of civilization is storing energy. We're going to need batteries and we're going to need a lot of them because we can't afford to keep burning uh, fossil fuels like we have been. The thing that gets me up every day is just how impactful what Deep Green is doing can be for the planet. And it's not about collecting nodules, that's really cool. This is about the drive towards net zero emissions. Mother Nature made this enormous resource and it all sits in one little area called the clarion clipperton zone and you know it's a fraction of the ocean floor it has enough of the materials we need to build all the electric vehicle batteries all the storage batteries several times over this is a better source for the future of humanity in acquiring these metals these base metal these are some of the last resources that the earth has to give us that are unique. Like any project, we will have an impact. And what we need to do is we need to understand what those impacts will be so that we can mitigate them. And so the process that's involved there is, is undertaking the baseline test work um, in terms of biological baselines, physical baselines, oceanic baselines. We're going out deploying a number of instruments on moorings throughout the whole water column to understand how the water column behaves so that we can get a baseline of what's there. We're kind of in the phase of the company where we're beginning to come to the conclusion of our resource estimation and now we're beginning to ramp up our study of the environment and the biology. So this is really the beginning of that the next three years of environmental studies. We're going to one of the most remote, hard to get at places on the planet, and it was an obligation to not only be able to study the environment here before we conduct our removal of the polymetallic nodules, but also to add to knowledge for the benefit of, of humanity. So we're really conducting very important and, and rare primary research uh, on the seafloor. The environmental data we're collecting is really important and it's great that Deep Green has allowed us to come onto these geological trips and collect biological data. It's just going to build on our knowledge base and it's going to assist them when it gets to the production phase because we're going to have a really good understanding of the environmental communities down there. There's always been a bit of a negative perception that things are too difficult to do in the ocean and I'm very pleased to see that, that a company like Deep Green is actually making strides to make it happen. It's something that needs to happen because on-land commodities are being exhausted, there are not many more mineral deposits being found, and it's the natural next place to look. In a couple of years' time we'll be doing a collector test to understand what the impacts of, of collecting the material is, and then from that we can understand what is there what the impacts of our activities will be and what the activities we can do to mitigate those impacts and make an informed decision really around what's the best alternative for us to source the metals that we need. We have an important part in facilitating that and making sure that we, we do it in a way that we're all proud of when we look back in a decade's time and our children and their children look back and say, yeah, that's how responsible corporations should have behaved and, and did behave.